Hello everyone and welcome to the Imperial College London RCSU's 16th Annual Science Challenge launch. The Science Challenge is an international science communication competition hosted every year by Imperial College's Natural Sciences Union, the RCSU. There are two categories, Imperial undergraduate students and high school students in their last four years of study. This year we have decided on the theme of climate change. Climate change is the urgent problem facing the Earth and its inhabitants. Perhaps your essay or video can explore the worrying misinformation out there, despite the growing threat of loss of life, famine, spreading disease, and even world conflict. Are those people who just claim that better science will fix the problem right? Should we trust the opinions of many people who happily maintain that a solution will turn up? Or can we change our own human behaviour. How can we make sure that there is effective international collaboration instead of national self-interest? Communication of science and the issues has never been more important. So this is your chance to influence the response to one of the world's biggest problems. By participating in this science challenge and arguing your ideas, you pave the way for progress, better discussion and understanding science. The winners will be invited to the Grand Award Ceremony at the Royal Institution in London to speak about their ideas in its famous lecture theatre, where so many famous scientists have done for over two centuries. Some will even be invited to Parliament to meet and talk to politicians. Good luck. We can't wait to read or watch your important work. There are four questions this year, each set by one of our guest judges or our ambassador. Now let's hear from them about their questions. Hello everyone, my name is Paolo Cepi and I'm a lecturer in climate science at Imperial College in London. My expertise is in physical climate change and my research deals mainly with understanding uh, uncertainties in climate change projections and particularly focusing on the role of clouds for these uncertainties. Now we all know that climate change is really one of the greatest challenges faced by humanity. And there is a consensus now among scientists that current climate change is really driven by human greenhouse gas emissions. But my question to you is, how do we scientists know that? How do we know that it is really humans who are causing climate change and that this isn't just a natural phenomenon? So I'm asking you to answer this question in the form of a video clip of up to three minutes. And you're welcome to use figures, schematics, or any other type of visual support that helps you deliver your message as effectively as possible. I would also ask you to pitch this for a general audience, so something that your friends or relatives would easily understand. So good luck, and I'm really looking forward to watching your videos. The very best part of my career has been working with incredible people. Scientists, artists, comedians, politicians, Nobel Prize winners, school kids, people with mental health issues. And I've got to learn from them all. And together we've created astonishing things. My challenge for you is to deliver your message about climate change to a leader, a prime minister, a president, a local leader, and say why, what's the evidence behind your message. I'm looking for three things, clarity, content and charisma. So clarity, clear and concise. Content, good solid evidence, but still understandable. Charisma, be yourself, be authentic. Show us your own passion. It needs to be a three minute long film or less. And if it's good, we want you to send it to one of those leaders. They need to hear from people just like you. Now, researchers, over the past decade or so, have also been looking at other ways of, of, of removing CO2 from the atmosphere. And those are chemical systems that scrub CO2 out of the air. Uh, and then you can re-emit the CO2, the pure CO2, in order to get rid of it afterwards. Now, all of these things, these approaches, even the old ones, are, at a, are still at a very early stage. And it is far from clear which approaches we should use to remove this carbon dioxide. Each of the approaches has pros and cons, technical pros and cons, environmental pros and cons, ethical pros and cons, and financial pros and cons. And what I'd like you to do is to research one of the approaches that is being developed 
and look at it very closely and critically and analyze it as a potential method for the removal of CO2. And I want you to do this not just through the lens of science, but also from the perspective of the collateral environmental impacts that might occur, both good and bad, societal impacts and ethical concerns. And when you've done that study, what I'd like you to do is to produce a video um, where you talk us through the carbon dioxide removal technique and guide the viewer through the issues that surround its use. Looking forward to your recordings. All the best. Hello, I'm Robert Winston, one of the examiners in the Science Challenge. So I'll be reading some of the essays at least. Obviously not all of them. There'll be a large number of people going through them all. And I just want to suggest to you that from my point of view, and I'm only just one opinion, is that what you need to do is to amuse the reader. Above all, make them perhaps surprised or entertain them or find something which is funny or rather unusual or novel about the notion of climate change. Now that's not to make fun of it, but actually it's to draw attention to things which are perhaps not often enough discussed. And that seems to me to be very important for an essay. Well, above all, in my view, don't try writing an A-level answer because you can never get enough facts into a short essay to make this really useful. And I'd also suggest to you, don't be frightened of uh, going to make an unpopular view about uh, climate change and what we should do about it. It doesn't necessarily have to be the view that you really share, but it might be one that might be worth hearing about to see how it can be refuted, for example. And then uh, I think consider uh, conventional views. Uh, just be aware that sometimes the conventional view is the one that is going to be least likely to be taken up. And don't be frightened of doing things which are really surprising, like a bit of pastiche, a certain imitation, write a poem, maybe even sing a song in the style of Adele. Uh, whatever you do, I think above all, it's really important with this competition to make sure you write well, you write amusingly, and certainly with some entertainment. And I think also, I think above all, make sure that you enjoy yourself doing it because otherwise it's not likely to be a very good essay. So all the very best to you and good luck with your writing. Entries can be submitted via the link on the Imperial College website, which is linked in the description. The deadline for submissions is 5pm on Friday the 11th of February. Our awards ceremony will be held at the Royal Institution on the 21st of March 2022 and all shortlisted candidates will be invited. These candidates will be informed by the 14th of March and asked to prepare a short presentation on their submission topic so that they can present this to the audience should they win. We look forward to seeing all of your entries and we hope to see you at the awards ceremony in March. Thank you. And from all of us here at the Science Challenge team, good luck.